Kia's new EV9 is one of the very few non-luxury three-row electric vehicles available in the U.S. today. This versatile SUV offers superb performance both on-road and while DC fast charging, the latter of which we'll put to the test next. It's no secret, the Hyundai Motor Group's eGMP-based vehicles are some of the best EVs available anywhere in the world today. These cars look nice, drive well, have superb interiors, and they DC fast charge incredibly quickly, something our own testing has confirmed time after time. If you fall, no, not the Cindy Lauper song. The EV9 in sporty GT line trim is under the microscope today. Let's see how well this three-row SUV performs in our rigorous EV Pulse charging challenge test. But first, a quick overview of this vehicle. So the EV9 is available with two different battery sizes, each with an 800 volt architecture. And of course, there's a handful of different powertrains. Higher end models, like the example evaluated here, feature a large, 99.8 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery that should DC fast charge at a maximum rate of 210 kilowatts. This Kia's smaller pack clocks in at 76.1 kilowatt hours, though it charges a little bit quicker, topping out at 235 kilowatts. When it comes to range, this EV9 GT line is EPA estimated at a respectable 270 miles, though the model with the longest legs is estimated to go up to 304 miles on a full charge. The GT line has a potent 379 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, courtesy of a dual-motor all-wheel drive powertrain, and that's enough to get you from zero to 60 miles per hour in just five seconds flat. Not too shabby for something weighing nearly 5,900 pounds. Of course, this vehicle doesn't charge quite that quickly, but it is still an all-star. And we'll get to the EV9's charging challenge performance and see if Kia's claims are accurate in just a minute. But first, a quick overview of our testing methodology. Okay, so before rolling up to a DC fast charger, we deplete a vehicle's battery to between five and 10%. And we do this by driving on the highway for at least 30 minutes to make sure the battery pack is warm for optimal charging performance. Now, if battery preconditioning is available, we also activate that. Next, we plug into a DC fast charger that delivers at least as many kilowatts of juice as the vehicle can accept, so the charger is not the limiting factor. And then we monitor the progress all the way up to 100%, so afterwards we can analyze the full charging curve. Now, a few additional notes. In normal use, you really only want a DC fast charge to about 80%. After that, the charging rate dramatically decreases, meaning the last 20% takes way longer to get, so be aware. DC fast charging is also best used on road trips. If you own an EV, most of the time you'll want to juice up at home using a slower but more convenient and economical level two charger. And finally, weather conditions can be a big factor as batteries don't absorb energy as quickly in the cold. During testing in Ypsilanti, Michigan, the conditions were partly cloudy with temps in the low 50s Fahrenheit. Anyway, we parked at a 350 kilowatt Electrify America charging cabinet with an estimated 3% state of charge, and that equates to about eight miles of range. So yeah, it was definitely time to juice up. After plugging in, our EV9 was off to the races, accepting power at a stellar 192 kilowatts just two minutes after initiating the session. The rate continued to gradually climb, eventually peaking at an impressive 211 kilowatts right at the 17 minute mark, meaning the vehicle actually beat Kia's estimated maximum charging rate, if only just. But even more impressive than that, Chad said he saw 215 kilowatts during a separate charging session. Following that peak, the charging rate declined rather quickly, which is absolutely no surprise. I mean, basically all EVs do this, so don't be alarmed. Then right near the end of this session, the charging plateaued at around 40 kilowatts for a few minutes before falling off just before the battery was full. 
All told, this charging test took a relatively quick 62 minutes to complete, a phenomenal performance. As for the all-important 10 to 80% window, it took the EV9 just 26 minutes to achieve this, which is nearly identical to Kia's estimate of less than 25. This is an exceptionally good showing, though we expect nothing less from an eGMP vehicle. Subtracting 26 minutes, the time it took to hit 80%, from 62 minutes, the total charge time reveals how long it took to get the last 20%, that is, to go from 80% to 100% full, and this required 36 minutes, appreciably longer than going from 10 to 80, though this is still impressively quick. All told, the charger pumped out around 102.1 kilowatt hours of energy, which at 42 cents per kilowatt hour cost us around $43. As always, it's cheaper to level two charge at home, though that's a little tough to do when, say, you're halfway across the country on a road trip. Anyway, as expected, the EV9 DC fast charges at an impressively quick rate. The vehicle pretty much performed exactly like Kia said it would, and that is great news for drivers looking to go electric yet still need three rows of seats. Additionally, we'll have a full review of this impressive SUV coming out very soon, but in the meantime, make sure you are subscribed to the EV Pulse YouTube channel so you can check that feature out as soon as it publishes. Next up, see how well the Rivian R1T all-electric pickup truck DC fast charges. Is it as quick as the speedy Kia EV9? Well, to answer that question and learn much more, click right over here to check out our full charging challenge video.